Good afternoon, everybody. I'm so happy to see everyone here with tremendous spirit. Um, at the Talmud Lunch and Learn, we get together every Friday afternoon at the Torch Center with magnificent lunch and hopefully food also for the soul. Um, and before we begin, we're going to talk about Uh, the next of the 30, 30 uh, sorry, the, of the 48 ways. So yesterday we discussed about being responsible for our decisions and making sure, hi Davida, thank you for joining us. Um, I titled this, uh, this uh, post incorrectly, I'll fix it later. But the topic is... In, Number 39, way number 39 for the Omer that we will count tonight, which corresponds with the 39th way, um, is Noseb Olim Chaviro. Noseb Olim Chaviro means to carry the burden with your fellow. To carry the burden with your fellow. Now, many people think it, it means a superficial, uh, yeah, I'm so sorry, I feel your pain. All right? It's much more than that. It's to really, you know, it's like, you know, when they had the, the, the disaster in Haiti, uh, so many people would uh, go to Walgreens or any of the local supermarkets, and they would say, would you like to make a donation? Would you like to make a donation? And some people would make a donation because they feel guilty, like uh, everyone is online, like, uh, no, I don't want to make a donation. So they say, okay, I'll give a dollar, I'll give $2, $10, $20 if you're very gener generous. But it, is that really feeling the pain of someone else? Right? Well, the feeling the pain of someone else or carrying that burden for someone else, what it really means is you go home and you start thinking, what would happen if you lost your home to an earthquake? What's if you didn't have a bed to put your children to sleep in? It's putting yourself into someone else's shoes and feeling their pain. But our sages say that no sebe olim chavero, carrying the burden with your fellow, doesn't only mean with negative, with sadness, with illness. It also means with happiness. When someone makes a simcha, when someone has a celebration, when someone has a graduation, when someone has a, a party, uh, whatever it is, do you really feel their joy? That means, this is what the bottom line of this way, is getting out of yourself, getting out of your own little cocoon. And we all have this... That we've, we're very conscious about our own needs. We know exactly when we need to sleep and when we need to eat and when we, when we need to, uh, to, uh, to bathe. And we, we're very conscious about the things we need. When a person needs the restroom, right? We need, we need something, we know it right away. But how about when someone else needs it? Do we also have that sensitivity to feel when someone else needs something? The only way to really learn this is to start feeling what other people feel. And this is the, the foundation, really, of chesed, of kindness. Kindness isn't here, take a dollar and don't bother me again. Right? That's not what it is. It's even if you don't have the money, feel what they're going through. You may not be able to give them, get them out of their problems, but at least you can put your hand on their shoulder and say, you know something? I'm with you. I, know, I understand what you're going through. I cried for you. I, w I was dancing for you. I couldn't be at the, at, the, at, the, at, the, uh, at the wedding, but I danced for you in my house, in my heart. It's feeling being there with someone else, even if you're not actually there physically, but you're there emotionally. You're there in spirit. And that's the, the quality that we're talking about here, is feel what someone else is experiencing. Get down to the bottom of it. There's so much to talk about this topic, but I know everyone has to get prepared for Shabbos, and we have to get on with our Talmud class here at the Torch Center. So uh, you're welcome to join us. Alex, why don't you come down the road? Uh, we look forward to you joining us here at the Talmud Lunch and Learn. Thank you for joining us online. Uh, please like and share these videos uh, so that they can reach more people. And thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. And... Uh, have a wonderful Shabbos, everybody.